Skyline is an open source Nintendo Switch emulator for Android that can use to emulate the Nintendo console on your smartphone. Skyline is popular as a well optimized and less demanding emulator that works well on low end mid range Android devices. Skyline is also a favorite option for its various versions and updates. Today, in this video, we are going to show you how to set up Skyline Enhanced Infinity Plus, which is the most recent and advanced version on an Android phone. Today's video is our step by step tutorial, and in this video, we are going to cover how to install the Skyline Enhanced Plus Initial Setup Guide, install product keys and title keys, configuring the settings and control setup, manage NSP roles according to the Skyline compatibility, then adding NSP games in the emulator. Please like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell button. Skyline Enhanced Plus comes after a long development period. The emulator has finally become stable and it's now available for download. One notable feature of Skyline Enhanced version is that it comes with an inbuilt controller so you don't need an actual controller to play the games. First of all, we need to download the Skyline Enhanced Plus on our Android phone. This version is not available on their official site but we can get the apk from their discord server to download the application all you have to do is to go to the description of this video and open the discord link please join our discord server where i already shared the drive link of skyline enhanced plus when the download is complete install the application if you have already installed skyline and you try to install the enhanced version then it will fail to install so you must have to uninstall the skyline application from your phone then try to install the enhanced version it's a teeny application so it will install within a few seconds when the installation is complete launch the app when the app is open it will ask you to select a folder or direction from which it will automatically run games in the file manager go to your internal storage and just create a new folder with a name skyline as i created here you can see i'm creating three more folders inside the skyline folder for the drivers product keys and games now get inside the game folder click on the use this folder and allow skyline to get access of this folder now back to the skyline please look at the interface now click on the gear icon in the top left corner then here you can see two options product keys and title keys you have to manage these files by yourself remember that without these keys skyline doesn't let us launch any game you can see i have already managed both files in the keys folder you can easily find these just open your chrome browser and google it sorry to say i can't share any direct links please join our discord server for more information to install the product keys just to tap on product key then navigate to the keys folder and select product keys it will immediately show a note you successfully imported keys same way click on the title keys then select the title key from the keys folder and again a note will be show the successfully imported keys before we are going to manage NSP ROMs then load them on Skyline, I would like to configure settings and controls. Again, click on the gear icon and if you slightly scroll down, you will see always see game information that indicates game info when you long press on it then scroll down if your device is not good enough then make sure to disable docked mode if you want to see fps and cpu performance during gameplay then enable show performance statistics option you can enable maximum display refresh rates to achieve 60 hertz you can also find options for 
screen orientation, expert ratio, shaders, etc. But I would like to keep them as default. There is another important option for a custom GPU driver. If your device has Snapdragon processor, you can add a GPU driver which will help you to run big games. Unfortunately, I'm using Mali so I don't have option to change the GPU driver. There are many more options that I won't touch on today. Another option I want to show is the configure controller. You can select the controller tribe. If you have an external controller, then disable on screen controls. If you would like to customize the controls, tap on edit on screen controls layout. Here you can easily customize the control keys at your desired location. You can scale any keys, increase or decrease the size. There is an option for opacity. You can also adjust the activation radius if you want to mark any keys. You have that option too. That's why I would like to give 10 on 10 for the control customization of Skyline Enhanced Infinity. So guys, let's load games in the Skyline emulator. Before loading games, we need to manage NSP file. Before downloading any games, make sure they are playable in Skyline or not. I have given a link in the description for the Skyline compatibility list. Here you will find thousands of games perfectly playable on the Skyline emulator. Unfortunately, I can't give any link related download source because it will be against YouTube community guidelines after downloading the file, unzip it and then move all the downloaded games to the dedicated folder. Now go back to the skyline and if it's not showing any games, just sweep up. It will immediately show all the games. Finally, we can launch a game and get experience. Honestly, the version has made lots of improvement. They remove all the bugs. I found decent frameworks with graphics i recommended everyone please try this emulator if you want to watch more videos like this you can subscribe our channel and join our discord server no more today see you in the next video take care